the US has the highest incarceration rate in the world. Almost one in 100 people are incarcerated. Moreover, incarceration rates among women have been growing faster than those among men, and the particular needs of incarcerated women are often overlooked. A central cause of these high incarceration rates is recidivism. More often than not, people who are released from prison eventually return. 45% of former incarcerated people are arrested within one year of release. 68% are arrested within three years, and 83% within nine. However, according to the RAND Corporation, people who participate in educational programming while incarcerated are 43% less likely to return to prison. In fact, the most effective method by which to reliably reduce recidivism is by providing education. Despite this, educational opportunities fall drastically below demand, are often colored by gender stereotypes, and fail to build the self-efficacy required for success in the workplace after release. To address these problems, we are preparing an introductory computer science and career readiness program for incarcerated women, focusing on programming and self-efficacy. Our program is fully remote, bringing together women from multiple facilities to learn collaboratively in a scalable manner. Moreover, it combines the teaching of technical programming skills and digital literacy with self-efficacy to directly meet the needs of this population. Also, we incorporate job allocation services, college credits, and career readiness trainings into our program. Our program has three expected impacts. First, to reduce recidivism, benefiting our students and the communities they return to. Second, to increase self-efficacy and career readiness. And third, to improve job prospects by focusing on digital literacy. Since launch, we have finalized our course curriculum we have partnered with correctional facilities and have secured college credit for the course. Our team, Braid Behind Bars, consists of Martin, Marissa, and Jessica, PhD students in computer science and mathematics, working to strengthen educational programming for incarcerated people. We partner with TEGI, a group at MIT with 25 years of experience in driving educational programming for incarcerated people and with Brave Initiatives, a nonprofit that runs programming and self-efficacy boot camps for young women. To finance our initiative, we are fundraising to make sure that no costs are borne by the incarcerated students or the correctional institutions we partner with. Funds will go towards expanding and scaling our curriculum, to training MIT and Harvard instructors in self-efficacy practices, and enabling access to experienced instructors and a learning management system. With the support of IDEAS, we will be able to deliver a pilot course for 30 women this summer, whose feedback we will use to scale to larger future cohorts, building towards equitable access to education.